Today is day 18 of the internal family systems and we're now switching gears away from the discussion about the inner critic. We did that over um, the last 17 days and all the various players and archetypes and psyches and subpersonalities that encompasses the concept of the inner critic as one of your protectors. So we're now shifting gears and moving to a brand new subpersonality or protector and that protector is called the procrastinator. I'm sure that all of us have some dimension of the procrastinator part in all of us. So we're going to start to go into a journey on discovering and understanding and getting in touch with the procrastinator. So the first thing is, what is the procrastinator? Well, the procrastinator is the part to you that will subconsciously get you to avoid things. Avoid thinking th something or doing something. And so a lot of times what's really important here is this is a little different than being in awareness that you're not wanting to do something where you're choosing not to do it in awareness. So with using your cerebrum or your thinking brain and you're choosing not to do something, that's a different part of your brain. That's not procrastination. Procrastination is when you have an intention to do or say or think something and that you actually find that you're focused on doing that, but at the end of, after a certain time period, you sort of wake up or look up and realize that you didn't do it at all. And while, you know, from the point of the intention of doing something to the point at the end of the day or the end of that juncture or that realization is life just gets in the way. Or what will happen is subconsciously you'll end up doing something else or you will distract yourself with other things that you oftentimes call this life gets lifey and you will, you know, move on to something else or get distracted with social media or um, go to another room to do something or get in your car to go shopping or go online to go shopping or you'll open the fridge and start eating. There's a lot of things that we do that we distract ourselves subconsciously. We're not actually in awareness while we're doing this. And it diverts us from doing what we originally had intentionally set course to do. So that's really what the procrastinator will do. That's the part that will cause that subconscious meandering away from intention. So what the exercise of today is, is to simply get in touch with the procrastinator, just in a very light touch way. Um, I want you to do an unblending, very similar to what we've done with the inner critics and the criticized child and the protected child and all the other dimensions around the inner critic, you're going to do a very similar thing. Find that quiet place, the meditation, the journaling, the closing of the eyes, the breathing, um, the just going into a quiet place in your, in your home or your office and just, just breathe and just pause and get into a place of awareness. Um, and this is going to be really important, not only as you imagine or remember, like kind of again, again, going into a trailhead, to when you've been procrastinating, so remembering an episode so that it can bring you back into that place. And when you get really good at unblending and getting into awareness with the procrastinator or just unblending in general is when you actually start to have just experienced a sense of procrastination is you could go into that quiet place if you are in the right time and place to be able to do an unblending. So you can analyze what you just did or what just happened. So I invite you to actually ask yourself, what does it feel like or what did it feel like to avoid what was going on in your body? So first of all, from a sen sensorial or from a kinesthetic standpoint, what is happening in your body? Is there tension? Is there openings? Is there a sinus headache? Is there pain in your back? Is there a numbness somewhere in your body? <clears throat> what does the procrastination feel like? Or more importantly, you can also get in touch with um, what the emotional sense is. Is there a sense of doom or heavy breathing or tightness because there's fear that you didn't do something? Is there, um, is there um, a sense of like a, an impulsiveness that's coming in it? Is there a racing heart? Is there um, an anger? Is there other things that have come up from you is there a resignation? Is there 
um, a sadness. So what is the emotional sense that you have besides just a, a sensorial sense? Um, and then also sort of asking if you're hearing any voices, if you can actually start to think about if there's words that you hear or if there's something that you can visualize, if maybe you start visualizing what this procrastinator looks like. Um, so kind of going into just a first foray into the understanding and awareness of the procrastinator. We're going to get into this deeper in the days to come, but suffice it today is this is the first reflection um, of getting to know your procrastinator. So leave some comments below. Um, feel free to like this video or to subscribe. And until next time, my friends, live unfettered.